today's technical corner, I'm joined by Matt of ITC, and we're going to be talking about some innovation from Big Kaiser and their smart damper. So, Matt, just quickly, what on earth is a smart damper? Okay, so let's take it simply. I did an application yesterday. It was a 12 mil boring bar, nearly five times D, and the biggest problem I had was chatter. Just on that cusp of five times D or longer, you're going to have problems with chatter. Uh, so. This isn't a superstar or pushed as a superstar for Kaiser. Usually it's the boring heads mm -hmm. with you know, uh, the, the big plus spindle tool in. But this is a really important addition to, uh, to, to the big Kaiser range that we can offer. So if you've got a deep hole, a deep bore, you need to get down and chatter is an issue. The smart damper comes in and it's like an anti-vibration system that takes the chatter out of the, of the equation. Sure, because it, it, it's the biggest tool life killer as well, isn't it? You mentioned chatter, harmonics, vibration, it's your biggest tool life killer. Uh, yesterday it was so much fun it was a good day and I enjoyed it but we were trying to use a finishing insert which is a usually a hard insert mm -hmm. so it was a WS10 mm -hmm. grade as soon as it chatters it takes the edge of the insert off so then you go to a more medium geometry with a, a tougher grade it's fine if it's not uh, when it is chattering but if it starts to cut properly it then wears quicker it's all life. so it, <laughs> yeah, you're just yeah. chasing yourself all the time so uh, if you can take the chatter out of it, it just solves a, a big problem straight away. And what's, it's obviously the bar, it's modular. So, so what, um, what applications can it be? You mentioned internal groove in there, but what else can it be used for? So we've got setups for roughing and milling. So we've got the, the big Kaiser heads would fit onto the bars. Um, and if you go in deep holes, it, you, can, you can make as much setup. You can make it as long mm -hmm. and short as you need to, but it will take out that chatter. So. so when would you recommend using this system? Obviously, you're going to say all the time, but... It, it is like you say that four or five times D or certainly on boring, isn't it? It depends on the material yeah. and some other variables it will depend when you need it. I was always taught probably the same as you that if it gets over five times D, you're probably in the realms then of, of needing some kind of support to the boring bar. So whether it be a carbide bore, we had dense cement mm -hmm. and, and anti vibration. So especially on the but this is but this is the next stage again. This isn't is it? the next stage because we're not talking about eight, nine, ten diameter boring bars. Mm -hmm. We're talking uh, the range goes from twenty mil up to 203. Wow. So you can imagine how big that would be. Don't need to sell many of those. But, but if you've got a real deep hole, and the trouble is when you're coming to do that, say it was a, a finishing application, you've probably done a lot of work before you get to that point. So if you do the finishing uh, bore and it suddenly becomes very chattery, it could really have a chance of scrapping that expensive component off. So then you've got to say, okay, let's l eliminate any chatter issue mm -hmm. and we'll put one of the smart dampers up to do the job. Well, I'm telling us, all your trade secrets, how, how does that work? What, what's inside the holder to, to dampen the harmonics, reduce that vibration? I think because of the materials and, and how they make it, I'm, I'm sort of erring away from giving you all the trade secrets, yeah. but um, I think because of the, the, the setup of the bar itself and, and the materials it's used, it just, it just takes the chatter away, so. And obviously we're seeing here, this is a, this is a great example. It, um, it, it's a m m uh, modular multiple heads. This is obviously a, a boring head. Yeah, so I, one bar would probably take a, a series of different mm -hmm. heads and then you move up to the next size and, and it would cover a range. So I think originally uh, the book I've got here, uh, it wasn't such a big range, but with the additions that are now out, they're not in the book yet. We need a new edition of the book to have them all in, but they are mm -hmm. available through PDF, uh, 20 mil all the way up to 203. So that's a very, uh, uh, a very good range of, of sizes. And, and how is it how is it bolted into the machine? Obviously Big Kaiser are very well known for their tool holders so it's kind of a good marriage. Yeah you, you'd be able to have the full setup married together with Big Kaiser back end, Big Kaiser front end and the, uh, the uh, damper in, in between. So and what I would say to people is if you've got uh, issues like this or applications like this um, give us a shake because We've got a fantastic, a really knowledgeable guy called Simon Yeomans. He's the big Kaiser uh, guy in, in the UK. Really nice guy. Loves getting out there and doing stuff and coming to see the customers. He'll be able to put you uh, tooling, assemblies together, exactly what you need for your application. Mm. And this type of technology, there's, there's, there's other products that do a similar end result. And sometimes people are put off by the price. But in a lot of applications, it, the price is insignificant when you look at your, 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 your machine throughput, your, your, your tool life advantages, obviously product integrity, surface finish, things yes. like this. I think as, as components get more and more complex, it means more and more hours of work getting that component to a finished state. And if you're boring, is one of the last apps. Uh, applications of that part or if it's uh, I mean tapping we always had issues with mm -hmm. tapping didn't we where it, it, you have a part you do really good job on it and what would happen the tap would break in it it was it was going to happen especially in stainlesses and exotics it, it's a, a nightmare so I think you've got to look at the cost of what the components worth to the customers and the time that's gone into that job 
And if it means spending a little bit of money on a smart damper just to solve a problem or a potential problem, it's worth looking at. I agree, I concur. And so maybe consider this type of solution if you're having surface finish issues, any boring issues. Yeah, speak to the guys at ITC and they'll fill you in about their big Kaiser smart damper. Thanks for watching.